watch me complete my final year master's thesis in two days. Cruising down the highway, windows down low, sunset paints the sky in a fiery glow, mountains rise up, touching clouds above. Hi friends, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is all about me trying to get through this dissertation crisis. And I have a comprehensive viva coming up by May 31st, that is in uh, two days. And I'm super unprepared, I don't know what to do. Anyways, let's see. So I kind of paused my dissertation work for now and uh, started to revise everything for my uh, comprehensive IVA. So this is a book I'll be using to revise all my like basic, I don't know how they'll ask questions tomorrow. So this book, it has a 2023's gate physics guidebook. So they have uh, all these condensated stuff on each chapter. So I'm going to read through that and I also have my notes. So I'll go through that. And hopefully I'll remember something that I can say tomorrow. I went through almost all the chapters except electrons and thermodynamics. And right now I'm stuck with mathematical physics and I have around 20 videos about tensors to watch. completely screwed up. The uh, so why the questions were like pretty fine like they asked uh, there were uh, three to four people sitting in a room and all of us were all of them were our professors and what actually happened is that uh, they asked me which all topics you want like which all questions you want like, I mean which all topics you want us to ask questions from so and then I answered uh, is there anything except quantum mechanics and electronics so the first question where do you want to apply quantum mechanics? Considering this as my first ever uh, Viva, like sitting in a panel interview situation happening, I did very poorly. I know this is not my uh, best performance, but uh, what actually happened is that I panicked and I couldn't answer one question and I lost everything from that shit. I, my mind was like, poof, everything was gone. I even forgot what uh, force and potential was. I even forgot what con uh, conservative forces are, like basic questions I forgot. So my only feedback from this session was to use my brain. I, I doubt that it is working, like my brain ain't working at this point. I haven't slept properly last night and I haven't eaten properly, so my brain is not working. I got back to my room by around 6.30 or something. Uh, I, was in, I went back to the lab after everything, like all the shenanigans that happened. And uh, I think that's pretty much it. I'm not going to write any more of my thesis today because I'm very much sleep deprived and I have a developing headache here. So I'm going to get some sleep and... Probably as it didn't complete in my entire thesis in two days. So yeah, watch me complete my final year master's thesis in two days. So today is Monday, uh, 3rd of June and I'm just getting ready to go to lab again. And then we have a meeting at 10 o'clock with our uh, project coordinator. Uh, I think he's gonna like talk about all, how to... Uh, like bind and everything and I'm wearing this very old I don't know I don't even know how old this is uh, one kurta dress situation and I have black leggings underneath because you're not allowed to wear short dresses here so yeah I'm gonna get ready uh, pack my bag and then go to lab I just got back from the lab and we had a meeting with uh, our uh, project coordinator today morning and he was like uh, he told us some corrections that we had to do and our submission date is on 9th 
that is a sunday so i think we have to submit by 8 and the specifications for the binding is not here yet so i think it will be a it will be like out by tomorrow so that, okay that was annoying me okay um I need to get new batteries for my small keyboard and we need to do the second outdoor workout for our 75 hard. I just had a cup of coffee and I'm gonna go. So I got these batteries and it costed me more. Oh, it was 18 rupees for one. I got three. As a gamer, I usually prefer clicky keyboards but while studying these clickiness uh, sometimes distracts me so i preferred this um, bubble model uh, very cute tiny silent keyboard uh, for my studying purposes and i also have a mouse so it's better for my neck and my back that I have to make in my thesis so I was doing it till now it's almost 6 30 6 45 ish I'm gonna take a shower and then probably get back into finishing my uh, probably like half of my thesis today so I can do the rest of the half tomorrow and by Friday I hope I can submit it to get uh, the printout and then uh, by Saturday we can get the binding and everything done so that I can submit it by Monday. It's hectic. That is how research works. I'm still working on my thesis. It's like uh, fifty percent done, and I have to write the results and discussion and include some graphs in it, which I can only do tomorrow after analyzing it in the um, lab's computer. So I'm trying to finish every writing step so that I can simply just add all the pictures and I'm done with get done with it. So. The chances of me pulling an all-nighter today is very high. 75 hard is also going on. I need to get 6 hours of sleep. I have no clue how I'm going to fit it. So my plan is to sit through the entire night, complete everything, go to lab tomorrow and take all the necessary data, come back and then sleep. Pro for like I don't know six ish months and I still didn't know that you could plot graphs like this. Damn the things you learn. Around 4 50 a.m. on a Saturday and I'm right I was fixing a few corrections that my uh, supervisor had for me yesterday and I just sent the final copy. I pray to good lord that this is fine. I don't want to do any more correction. My brain is just farting at this point. I need sleep. I'm gonna go back to sleep. I'm gonna sleep till 8 o'clock. I don't care. We just got our thesis binded. And it was like mixed feelings to be honest. Like it's basically one year of our life condensed. You know, not actually one year. For me it was around uh, 4 to 5 months. 
that's everything condensed to like a hundred uh, or fifty pages, and we all had mixed emotions. So uh, we got binded at in this place called Net to Go. It's like an internet cafe, come DTP center. So uh, they we had to like send them our PDF copy. Make sure that you take your PDF copy uh, to take the printout because different systems will have different Microsoft Word versions installed. So if you are doing it in Windows 9 and then if you uh, someone else is opening it up in Windows 11 or something, there might be some changes in their orientation and everything. It might affect your thesis. So it's better to go with the PDF version. And since I did mine in the LaTeX, I didn't have that problem because that entered our entered output was anyways PDF. Uh, I submitted it for plagiarism yesterday, got the plagiarism certificate and we have to attach it after our thesis and we got ourselves bind uh, we got ours binded today. I'll show you it. So this is called silver binding and this is what our university wanted. Uh, I'm not sure about uh, next year or anything. They might change it, they might not change it. So this is silver soft. The, uh, you know, like what the cover is not that hard. It's silver binding obviously and this is my thesis. This is printed out in uh, executive bond paper, A4 size only but the print, the paper quality is a little bit high and I also got myself another copy. This is uh, called calico binding and this is basically two chart papers and you have your title page printed here and then everything else is the same. Uh, same color copy only I took for two copies and this is for a keepsake for me. Uh, anyways, I'm gonna add a few stuff into this and for this it is pretty hard to uh, add stuff because you need to unwind everything or like cut and paste which will be like hard for basically anyone. But this doesn't have that problem. You just need to simply take this cello tape off and then you can add pretty much anything to it. So this costed me 1250 uh, rupees, uh, 42 to be precise but I rounded it off as 1250 and uh, I think this was a little bit cheaper. This is more expensive because of the binding and this took hardly 5 minutes. You need to simply take the printout, arrange them according to the page number and that's it. So if you are a student that is writing the thesis or going to like bind your thesis, I advise you to do it one day prior if you are going for silver binding. Silver binding re requires half an hour but if a lot of students are there around, we had around 10 to 11 people there and it took for 3 or 4 hours for us to get us binded. So I advise that you go one day prior to your submission date. Our submission date was tomorrow, is tomorrow and uh, we just simply went to get it binded today. Uh, if we did it on Saturday, it was it will be a little bit more less stressful. So that is one advice I have. If you are planning to get your thesis binder in Coimbatore, if you are a student from Amrita, it's better to go for the binding one day before and if your department asks you to get a Bakram binding that is the PhD thesis binding which is hard binded and uh, the cover will be like uh, you know the outside we call it chatta and that thing will be like very hard uh, usually like books and all like old books will have Bakram binding. Bakram binding will take a little bit more time because you the glue has to dry, pro dry properly that will take around two days of time so plan accordingly and the person was actually very nice, the binding center person. I forgot to ask his name, but the, the place's name is net to go It's in uh, Kwawe Putur and hardly from Amrita College, it takes around 30 minutes to go there and then around 10 minutes walk to the place because the bus it is not in the direct bus route. And that's pretty much it. It's a very nice place and the people are also very nice. If you know Tamil, you're set to go. No need to worry. And I think that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope this was a little bit informative to any of the future Amrita students. And I wish you all the guys the best. Bye. I love you.